OK, so we can see here that this cell is in prophase. We can see it's in prophase because we can see the chromosomes. They're in various degrees of formation, ranging from very long and thread like structures to shorter, more distinct entities. And we also can see that the nuclear envelope, which normally surrounds the chromosomes, is beginning to disappear. We can see that the chromosomes are beginning to line up on the equatorial plate of the cell. And now we can clearly see the cell in metaphase, where the chromosomes are lying midway between the two poles of the cell in the equatorial plane. They are attached to spindle threads and their centimeters are aligned along that equatorial plane. Here we can see the process of anaphase. The chromatids are being pulled apart to each end or each pole. They're being pulled apart at the centromere and dragged to the opposite poles of the cell. Finally, we begin to see telophase. The chromosomes are at the poles where they shorten and form a compact mass. And the cell plate begins to form in the centre between these two compact masses. The chromosomes are more condensed in telophase than they are in anaphase, where you can see separate chromatids. <laughs>